Hi, welcome! So, someone requested a tutorial of this painting and finally I got around to it, so here it is! If you want to follow this, you can download the reference photo for the Kingfisher from Pixabay. It's free to use and I'll put the link in the description box below. And if you followed this, please tag me on Instagram, I'd love to see what you painted. So, before starting this painting, I gessoed and sanded my canvas to get it smooth, and if you want to see how I did that, check out my video on how to gesso a canvas smooth. Okay, let's start this. I already painted my canvas green, but you paint it any color you want. Just put a couple of coats and let them dry in between. I have my drawing on a separate piece of transparent paper, the same size as my canvas, and use transfer paper to transfer that onto my canvas instead of drawing directly on it. That way, I always have my drawing intact if I need to add lines back in, and my canvas stays clean without eraser marks, and it's always easier to draw on paper anyway. It's just so convenient to do it this way. Now, I don't have to draw in every single line, just enough to see what to block in for the first few layers and I can reuse my drawing later as I need to. Just erased some smudges from the transfer paper there. You can use an eraser or a wet brush for that. I'm starting with the branch, just blocking in the light and dark areas. My colors are not so important at this point, I'm just focusing on my lights and darks and I will glaze the colors that I want to tap later. So for this green stuff, I'm painting it almost white at first and then add the yellowy green color on top because the white is more opaque and had I started with the green color right away, it would not show up because it's very transparent which is great for glazing but not as a base layer. There, I am painting the yellowy green on top, and see how well that shows up thanks to the white underneath. So if you feel like a color is not showing up or is not vibrant enough, try painting white underneath first, let that dry, and then add your color on top. Blocking in the mushrooms in a solid purple. Then I'm using some blue for the shadows.
and adding some highlights using a liner brush. And I'm just going back and forth with more shadows and highlights, smoothing things out, adding some more purples and blues. Just keep working on it until it looks how you want. Starting with his eye by blocking it in solid black and some shadows around it. And now you want to pay attention to your reference photo. Don't forget that little line around his eye. When painting reflections in eyes, I like to use blue around the reflections rather than grey because grey makes them look kind of dull, I think. Blocking in some blue and his beak. And painting some lines and building up some highlights. And like I did before with the green stuff on the branch, I'm blocking in all areas that are going to be orange with white first, so when I go over it with orange it will look really nice and vibrant. Blocking in the rest of him. Now that white is dry, so I'm painting it orange. Use red for shadows. Adding some more orange and highlights, again going back and forth until it looks nice. And now when everything is blocked in, I'm starting to work on the feathers and details. And this is another time where my separate drawing is so handy. I reused it to transfer the shapes of the feathers onto my canvas to help me see where everything's going. He 
and it's basically just a bunch of lines everywhere. Just pay attention to which direction they're going. Some are curved, some are long, some are short. And I outlined the big feathers on his wing, and then I will go over on top with a bunch of light lines for highlights. Adding some grey to his wing feathers, using a bigger brush now for a softer look. Keep in mind you don't want harsh lines everywhere, so use this bigger brush with a mid-ranged blue color to soften some areas. And I'm just going back and forth again, better defining things. I don't know if you can see it, but for a shimmery look on the feathers, I put some teal on the highlights and more blue kind of in the middle between the highlights and the shadows, if that makes sense. And here's my finished painting. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.